determine the arithmetic sequence in which the 21st term is 170 and the 5th term is 125, uh, 122. So arithmetic sequence, we start immediately by what we know, that it's alpha plus a minus 1 times delta. Okay, alpha being the first term, delta being constant difference. Okay, so what all we need to do is find A and D. That is what we're trying to find. A and D. Let's see what have they given us. They have given us that the 21st term is equal to 170. And also that the fifth term is equal to, let's move that one up a bit. And also that the fifth term is equal to 122, or 122. Okay. The 21st term would therefore be taking this 170 equal to alpha, which I don't know, plus now n, according to this, is 21, because the 21st term is equal to 170 minus 1 times my constant difference. On the other side, however, I therefore have that 122. So what am I doing? I'm just substituting this value into here, where n is now equal to 5. So 122 is equal to n is 5, but the rest is still unknown. And now what you'll notice is that you have two equations that you need to solve simultaneously. So let's start to do that. Okay, 170 on this side, uh, 170 is equal to A plus 20B. And this one I'm just going to write it underneath because you'll see you can always use um, simultaneous equations dealt with um, elimination. So if you forgot about that, you will be acquainted with just more. Okay, a plus, and here we have 4b. And elimination simply means I'm going to either subtract or add these two equations. In our case, I am going to, oh, not subtract them. Okay, and therefore I get 170 minus 122 is 148. A minus A is 0. Therefore I have dealt with one of the unknowns. It's gone. And then 20 minus 4 is, so this is 0 A, or just 0 then. And 20, again remember, I'm, sub I'm subtracting this whole thing, so it's uh, 16d. Okay. So when subtracting these two equations, we get the following answer. 170 minus 122 is 48. A minus A would be 0. 20 minus 4 would be 16. And now we simply get to solve D. So on both sides, I just simplify a little bit more. I get to divide with 16. And I get an answer for D as 3. Constant difference seems to be 3. Well, let's look then at my arithmetic alpha. Okay, so I'm going to choose the easiest one of these two to substitute in the 3. And I think the, the second one, I call this 1 and I call that 2. That's the one I'm going to uh, substitute into. So I get 122 is equal to alpha, which is still unknown plus uh, 4 uh, times d which is 3 4 times 3 is 12 and if I therefore 
take root of the 12, I need to subtract it on this side. So minus 12, but what I do on one side, I do on the other side, so that I get 110, sorry, 110 equal to A. This part will be 0 again. And here we go, we've got our general term then, if we were to write it, if the Tn is 110, which was alpha plus n minus 1 times our constant difference, 3. You see that with the question, we actually answer that question. Okay, determine the arithmetic sequence. Yes, we've done so. If we wanted to, we could give the first three, three terms. That would be 110, would be term 1, because n will be, sorry, not 0, 1, 1 minus 1 will be 0, so I add 3 none times. When t is 2, I add 3 once, which gives me 113. When t is 3, I add 3 twice, so 110 plus 2 times 3 gives me 116, and so forth. They didn't ask for that, but if they did. Cool, let me just see if they... No? Uh, I suspect that's as difficult as they can make it, although they do get very creative with these questions. I hope you enjoyed it and you understand it for well.